Hello, in this video we will be discussing the Steltronic Focus Next and Vision Next system. We open up our software here and make it full screen. And here we have our Focus Next software system, which runs on your front desk, your point of sale, your bar, whichever PCs or different areas, workstations that you would need to run it on. At the top, we have a toolbar. And on the left-hand side, we have what we call a taskbar. First thing would be to sign in. So you can click on the key and sign in. We have full security and different levels of hierarchy for your management and supervisors, whatever that may entail at your center so normally you would click on a user and hit login after you enter the password you can also using our fingerprint readers sign in by placing your finger on the fingerprint reader and it automatically signs you in the top corner and now that user can do whatever He's entitled to do based off of his security and what he's been authorized to do in the system. So going down the side here, we have different modules that allow you to perform different functions in our system. In the lanes manager, which is what we have up right now, it allows you to manage your lanes, exactly what it says. We have the pin setter interface, allows you to manage your pin setters turn them on off cycle your pin setter you can change the lights from black light to white light or if you have led lights you can tell it that you're running with led lights we have camera settings remote bowler console emulator which is a function that allows us to remotely view the lanes lane monitors so you got actually view them remotely from the front desk. We also have monitor settings, which allow you to do many different things from putting messages that flow across the screen, manage different types of messages that we have, warning messages, instant messaging, to your sending a message out to your lane, managing your score appearance, which we have 13 different score grids that you can choose from as well as different ways that you can uh, manage your the view of your scoring grids and um, different things that can be displayed on the scoring monitors you can also manage your animations enable disable animations you can choose between different um, animation packages basic birthday christmas halloween landscape so we got many different settings and some more technical settings managing your monitor resolutions and things of that nature um, you can activate your lanes turning them on and off choosing game time you can add players to the lane tell it how many games and then you can choose open lane. This allows you to then choose a bowling rate. So I can come in here and choose whatever rates are available. And you can choose them for the whole lane or individual players. Then it gives you your total. You can also add, add food and beverage from your POS products. So if you wanted to, you can add information or items onto your lane when you're opening it up and collect the money all at once once you got your total down here you can confirm that with the customer click ok and confirm the payment this allows you to then choose what type of a payment you're taking cash check credit card magnetic cards you can apply coupons you can charge things to accounts you can see the total down here and we can then apply money to that if it's cash and they gave you thirty dollars we have thirty dollars 
once the amount entered exceeds the total due, it'll give us what the change is or the balance, and the cash drawer would then pop open. And we can collect the money, make their change, and you close the drawer. Normally, the transaction will be completed. You can also split by item or split the bill if you're trying to split the bill between a certain number of credit cards. If we hit collect, it'll complete the transaction, place the bowlers on the lane. It's just that simple. We show that there's 30 frames remaining and three bowlers. Pair settings allows you to do many different things as far as different types of games and things that you can put on the lane as far as award games. You can also do some more technical things as far as rebooting or shutting down the lane computer. So it gives us some different things that you can do there. You can communicate to your file lines to turn the file lines on or off if they're connected to our scoring. You can also manage your bowler consoles. So you can click on the bowler consoles and tell the system configure how the system will, uh, uh, what it will allow the bowlers to do within their bowler console down on the lane. And we have settings for open play and league bowlers. So those are the functions you can perform on the lane. Of course, there's many more things that you can do on the lanes as far as transferring bowlers, doing score corrections. Um, you can lock the lanes for mechanic locks. You can put reservations on the lanes. So there's many different things that you can do on the lanes themselves. The next module on the left is our leagues module for tournaments and leagues. So this allows us to um, run your leagues, run a tournament. I have a couple sample things in here from some different leagues and, and tournaments that um, I have from some various centers and some testing. You can import your leagues from the CDE software's bowling league secretary. And then once you have one imported, you can select it and click open tournament. And it allows you to run your tournament here or your league. And it's just a matter of sending the league out to the lanes. Then this button changes to start practice. And you can have it to start, click um, start bowling when you're ready to start. It, there is also some automations that can be done to handle the league um, as necessary. Once the league is completed, you can then select the league and export it back to BLS. So it's very, very simple to use. Our software was used by the USBC to run their national tournaments for about seven, eight years. And so this system is fully capable of handling any leagues or tournaments that your center can be running. Uh, point of sale. It's a full point of sale system that allows you to use this for food and beverage, for pro shop sales, for anything that you would sell at the front counter. So you can customize it and configure the system. You can click on food items, switch between some of these different buttons at the top, order some additional drinks. If you programmed your products to have customizations, you can actually add or tell the person who's going to prepare this food item how this needs to be prepared. You can add customizations that include an additional cost or just items 
that are added on to it that don't increase the cost of the item. Click OK. And now this hamburger is customized to have cheese and bacon. And so it gives us our total, $9.14, including tax. And we have other buttons down here where you can send food items to a time game, such as a billiard table, to a lane or an individual on a lane. You can send it to a restaurant or a tab and to a payment manager, which is another form of a tab. If we click on pay, again, gives us our food. This was credit card and click exact or run it through our credit card system that's integrated and click collect and it would process that order. The buttons can have icons or logos, whatever you would like, or pictures of the food item, or you can keep the button simple and just have the wording on here describing the product. You can color code items. So you can color code, let's say these red beers are the beers that you have on draft and the blue ones are cans and bottles. So you can color code items to make things easier for your staff to work with them. And the system is very, very easy to use and program this information. And of course, we would be there to assist you and show you how to do things and even set things up for you. The restaurant and tabs allows you to run tabs. You can use it in a restaurant environment or bar or a simple snack bar during league night and keep track of the tabs that are being run. You have four different areas that you can configure and customize and name what rooms you want these to be. We have lanes, party tabs, cafe, and bar tabs in this example. Cafe, if you click on it, you have table numbers, so you can assign it to table numbers that you may have in a dining area. And we have the capability of adding multiple seats. If you're running a tab, you click on the bar tab. Click on this tab one. John, he's on lane two. We can enter that information here. And you can add products to their tab. And so I can click on add POS products. And John wants another Bud Light. Click on it. Back to payment. Now it shows that we have two Bud Lights on his tab. When it's time to close out his tab, we simply click Pay Order. Or we can go back to the room if he's not ready to close it out yet. It shows you which cashier actually opened up the tab and what time they opened the tab. The system is very, very easy to work with in many ways on this tabs, um, you can actually split items to pay a partial order. Somebody's just paying for part of something. So it makes it very easy for your employees to work with the system. The cash register allows um, employees to do different things as far as viewing the receipt history, pr reprinting a receipt. You can do generic income, paid outs, refunds. You can perform your cash drawer tasks as far as entering your opening and closing amounts and running your Z reports at the end of the night, closing out your credit card batch if you're running credit cards through our system. Or it can, can be automated um, through the credit card processor. So there's some different things that you can do there. You can also export all of your receipt history to Excel on a daily basis if you wanted to. So there's lots of different things you can do in the cash register. You can also set up accounts for schools and clubs and places where you may not be collecting money at the time of this, that they come into bowl, but rather keep track of all the transactions and then bill them through another, um, like an invoice or something. 
time games can be used for various different things throughout your center. If you had pool tables that you rent by the hour, golf simulator, shuffleboard tables, outdoor volleyball courts, or different things like that, you can set these up in the system. And then it's a matter of starting up the lane, the table when somebody goes to check out the items, for example, on a pool table, they would come to the desk, get your billiard ball, balls, and go down, and you start their timer. When they come back, you stop it, and it would collect the money for that. Reservations. We have a full reservation system that allows you to um, set reservations. You can enter in reservations into the system very easily. If I have a group coming in on lane three we can assign them to lane three and four they want to bowl on two lanes for one hour i can click on it and drag it it would come up you can put in a name smith party you can type in notes you can set different types of settings you can add players this allows you to um, put in names ahead of time if you wanted to depending on the event and you can save it you can also set a recurrency make take a deposit for this event the system will tell you who created this reservation and who last updated it if we save it it'll put that reservation in here we could always move it around if we needed to they called and said they wanted to move it to eight o'clock and we wanted to put them on a different pair of lanes. You just click and drag and drop it back wherever you want. Very, very easy. Reservations can then be managed on the lane. And you can come up here and Smith Party is there. And then you can send this reservation to the lane very easily. So we also have some online reservation options available for centers that are wanting to do that as well. A waiting list. A waiting list allows you to create a list of people that are waiting for an available lane. You can click on add group to bowling, five players, you can put in a name, Don, confirm it. You can actually put their names and shoe sizes if you wanted to, bumpers if you have automatic bumpers and it would add Don and his group to the waiting list. Shows you how many groups are waiting, how many total players, and it would tell you how, when these items or when these groups were added to the waiting list and how long they've been waiting. Once a lane is available, you can click on the lane and we have the waiting list up here and you can add the next group Onto the, onto the lane, send to lane. Makes it very easy to manage your lanes and the waiting list right from the computer. The membership module. Membership module can be used for many different things within our system. You can use it as a frequent bowler program. You can use it to keep track of your league bowlers. You can use it to um, create a VIP or some type of a program where the bowlers can earn points. You can use this membership when you are issuing a locker. You have to have a membership um, set up under for each member that has a locker, then they can rent out the locker. Um, you can add a magnetic card or barcode to a member and then assign games or money like if this was a membership uh, personal account and they can pre-load money or games onto this account the membership if we click on let's say jim osdale and hit edit member you can enter information as far as their name and address and email address, phone number, 
you can list everything as far as what leagues they bowl in. You have payment information. So Jim has $500 on his card or account. And you can assign special rates to these bowlers. So Jim has a membership rate, which get, possibly gives him a discount. You can also assign percentage off for restaurant and pro shop. So there's many things you can do. You can add games or frames to this and you can see how many points he may have earned if we had a point system set up. You can assign a card or a barcode or a fingerprint. You can assign a locker. So Jim has locker number one and it shows when his locker expires and any other information that's pertinent to his locker. You can look at purchases, purchase history, amounts history, and game history. So there's a lot of different things that you can do with the membership uh, module in our system. The lockers. The lockers manager allows you to manage all of your lockers right from within our system. You can see which lockers are in good standing, which lockers are um, expired and need to be renewed. You can also disable a broken locker. This allows you to manage everything from um, printing out locker reminders for all of your lockers that are expired. You can customize in our system a canned letter that will pre-fill in with the bowler's name and information. And so if I click on a locker, Jim Osdale's locker here, sign or edit the locker, we can go in and extend the locker and see how much it would cost to extend this locker for another year. Then hit save and exit and it would charge that money or I can exit out of there. And so you can have multiple banks of lockers. And so there's many different ways that this can be configured. We also have a time clock manager. So time clock manager allows employees to clock in and out. So if I place my finger on the fingerprint reader, it's going to clock me in, okay? If I am an employee that has access to um, the time clock manager, the management functions, you can go in and actually edit time clock entries. You can change um, and change things and edit their time clocks, or if they forgot to clock in or out, you can make whatever changes necessary. You can also print out reports for the time clock but when you're ready to do payroll. But it clocks you in and out by placing your fingerprint and it knows what your last um, event was as far as clocking in or out. So it knows that I'm needing to clock out now. And so makes it very easy to manage your employee time clock right from within our system. Advertising manager. This is a way to manage all of your images on the lane monitors, either while the lanes are not in use, for example, putting advertisements for either your center or another business that's advertising. You can put images up on the lanes for various different things and marketing within your center and make a playlist and then load it out onto the lanes and it will be displayed on the lanes as billboards when the lanes are not in use. You can also do some other um, things as far as advertising during bowling, loading your own 
videos and movies. Do, um, these are av uh, videos during the bowling that you can customize yourself. So it gives you a lot of different capabilities using the advertising manager. Configuration manager would be where you configure everything in our system from database management and backups to holidays and operating hours and different devices that would be installed on your computers and workstations throughout the center. And so this is where your management owners would go in and configure everything for the system. Products and rates. Products and rates allows the management to go in and set pricing for your bowling rates, set pricing and add products for the pro shop areas, food and beverage. This is where you can customize the colors. You can set the pricing for an item. So if we click on, for example, burrito, here is the pricing for this where you can set a tax and the price and what days of the week this may be available for. So very easy to work with. Um, the system allows you to set different things as far as your um, bowling pricing is concerned. So you can come in here and click on a bowling rate and set which days of the week it's available. You can have time zones, you can have various different rates set for different days, league bowler rate. You can also set time zones. So you may have an open play rate that is set to $4 from 8 a.m. to 4.59 p.m. And then at 5 p.m., the price increases to 450. So it allows you to set pricing however you need to, and it will automatically switch the price to whatever the default price is at that date and time. Daily reports allow you to run reports for everything in the system. You would click on a report, and you can set some defaults if you're running the same reports every day. You can click the green button and automatically run all your default reports. Or you can hit the blue button if you just wanted to view a re certain report. You can select it, hit print, and then it's going to pull up that report. It's going to give you all of your information for the report and the time frame that you've selected. It allows you to see everything that's been rung up and we have it subtotaled based off of different groups or categories that you want to set up. And then it'll give you a grand total based on all of these groups added up. The reports will show many different things as far as credit card sales, tips, refunds, anything that was voided that it'll show everything on this detailed report. But as you can see, we have many, many reports and some of the reports could be customized. Inventory. The inventory allows you to perform an inventory on certain items or all of your items. You have a list of groups over here, so you can filter out by the group. So if I click on beer, it's going to show me all the beer items. So then I can go through and view what do I have in inventory for my beer. And it looks like I'm out on a couple items. I can go in there and enter in how much I need to order. I can also put the cost if I wanted to and manage your inventory right from here. You can print the visible, visible rows or you can choose from different settings at the top to show um, only the modified rows and then print that out and call your supplier. And you can use this 
to keep track of inventory on different areas in your center. If we continue on over here, we have a payments manager, which is another form or way of combining um, payments from various different areas in your center. If I click on Jim and show the tab detail, it shows us that we have a food order combined with a time game order for the pool table. And so it allows you to combine different types of payments and pay for it when they're done. You would just click on pay tab and collect the money. So we're always coming up with ways of improving the system and listening to our customer feedback. That was something that was requested by lots of um, customers as far as ways to combine the payments easily. So next we have our score print manager which is a way to print scores with a lot more detail and more statistics. I can come up here and choose a date range, a refresh. I can come and find a set of scores that I would like to print, and I can select either all of them or individually. Then I can click on print preview or print or send by email. Here I can have more information as to how I want to print out the information on the um, statistics, either hiding certain things or changing certain information, or I can click OK and it will preview the score printout. This new score printout has information about every throw. So as you throw a ball, it shows you what pins were knocked down on each ball. And it does that for all of your scores. It also gives you some statistical information down here at the bottom, percentage of strikes and spares and splits, and a lot more statistics than on a standard score printout so something very new and very exciting that we've added to the system next we have our gift card manager the gift card manager allows us to sell gift cards and we can click on sell gift card we can swipe a card and we can set up templates ahead of time to make it very easy for an employee to sell a gift card. So I can choose $25 gift card. It shows that I have a card that I swiped and it shows me my total down below. If I click OK, then it will go to the payment screen and I can collect the money. I can say I'm going to collect this on credit card and complete the transaction. Now this card has $25 on it. If I swipe the card, I can pull up the balance of this card and see this card has $25 because I have not used any of it. Okay, you can have notes. You can set time period of when these cards can be used. And so we have that there. We can also manage the... Um, templates for what kind of cards we want. So you can sell cards that which have games on them, or you can set up different increments of monetary cards that you can quickly sell. So makes it very easy way to sell gift cards within our system. Next we have our card manager. So the card manager is an integration with other cashless systems. So in addition to our gift card, you can also have cards from various different cashless card systems. For example, Embed, um, Intercard, Sokoa, to name a few. You would be able to swipe a card and pull up their balance. You can 
swipe a card and apply money to their card. So you could either sell a card through one of the other systems such as embed and then reload money through our system. You can um, pull up the amount and see how much people have on the card. And now this card can be used throughout your center, whether it's for video games, whether it's for food and beverage or bowling and be able to utilize one card throughout the entire center. So we have centers that are utilizing this system now and our system communicates to the other system, whether it be embed or intercard and be able to seamlessly work together throughout both systems. Um, and some of them have other capabilities as far as bonuses and e-tickets. So you'll be able to utilize that depending on which system you are working with. So that concludes the demo of our system. As you can see, we can do virtually everything that a bowling center would need to run um, and do everything you need under one system and have everything being reported under one system, we'll be able to pull up all the financials for that one system all through our scoring system. So if you have any questions or would like some further information, please let us know and we'd be glad to assist you however we can. Thank you and have a great day.